what I loved about it was that I was able to perform. I, I loved being in plays at school, and I always loved being the class clown and loved having fun. So I loved that I got paid to do things that I really wanted to do. That's really where my whole philosophy now comes from, the idea that you could actually get paid to do the things you want to do. And that's really what Spot On was all about. People would write in and say, we want to see the presenters jump out of a plane. Oh, OK. And then they paid us. I mean, what was better than that? At the end of the day, television is just about moments. And the way you create moments are through stories. And I learned a lot. This was live television. And it was my, my first uh, try at live TV. I got a call about uh, doing a small pat on Gloss and um, ended up doing a number of scenes with Kevin Smith. I think we got in a few fights, actually. Um, I was a spoiled brat of a 21-year-old who um, basically was just misbehaving. It was fun. I went in, I interviewed with Mac Burnett and met with the network. And anyway, long story short, I got cut down to just myself and Jeff Probst. And when I went into the final meeting with Les Mouves, who ran the network, he said, you know, we've got a problem with your New Zealand accent. I was down to three, then I was down to two, then I went into a meeting, and then my nationality came up again, and my accent, and I was like, so they said, do you think you can Americanize your accent to get the job? I said, sure. Making No Opportunity Wasted, or Now for Short, was just hugely important for me because I wanted to make a, another piece of television that was positive, that really accentuated something positive. On a commercial level, that's incredibly difficult to do. What was great about the ride was that we had absolutely no expectations to do anything other than just make a documentary and let it land wherever it landed.